I need thee. I need the whole I need thee every hour I need thee oh bless me now oh bless me now my Savior I come to Thee. Let's pray. Father, we give you praise and thanks. You are the only true and living God. What a privilege, Lord, to be in your house and to be in your presence. Thank you for tonight. Thank you for being here, Lord. Thank you for being present, help in trouble. Thank you for being way maker, miracle worker. We commit everything to you tonight, Lord. We commit all of who we are because we know, God, that you are well able to take care of everything that concerns us. So we commit this time of worship through song, through the spoken word, through other forms of ministry to you, Lord. And we thank that the Holy Spirit is here to ensure you're glorified. So be glorified, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, pray and thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Good night, church. Good night, everyone. Let us lift up the name of Jesus. Let's hallelujah. shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you for bringing, hallelujah. thank him for bringing us here tonight. We're going to sing some praise songs and we're going to glorify the Lord. All right. So let's go. We come here to praise, we come here to praise, we come here to praise the Lord. We come here to sing and shout and clap for and praise the Lord. We come here to lift up His holy name, we come here to praise the Lord. We come to spread the gospel to the Come here to sing and shout and clap. 
house of the Lord tonight. Blessed. Blessed. I love it. How the rest of us feeling? We feel blessed too? Yes? I'm happy it's Friday. I feel blessed. All right, let's get back into the worship. Amen? Give me B flat. Hallelujah. We serve our great big one.
on, come on, come on, come on. We're still worshiping Jesus. We're still worshiping Jesus. We're still worshiping Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, you're worthy. Father, we lift you up. Mighty God, we magnify your name. Ah, Remanda Bakosai. Father, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, God. You are worthy, God. You are worthy, God. Hallelujah. 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 You're worthy, God. You are worthy, God. Father, we just magnify your name. Woo. We just magnify your name. We 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 lift you up because you are worthy. We lift you up because you are God. We lift you up because you are God of all God. Father, we magnify you in this house tonight. God, we glorify your name in this house tonight. We shabbat your name in this house tonight. Father, we lift up your name above all of our names. God, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be lifted up. You are worthy to be glorified. God, we just thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. 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 Sweet. Oh. Bright and fair, 
just getting ready to go. Do I have a victorious church that is ready to crusade tonight? Crusade for another week and win souls to the kingdom of heaven. Bless God, bless God. Touch somebody and say, I feel like carrying on. I feel like traveling on. I feel like traveling on tonight. Things may be rough, but I feel like traveling on. I might have almost never made it, but I feel like traveling on. I'm not sure what I'm going to eat after I leave crusade tonight, but I feel like traveling on. Somebody praise God if you feel like traveling, man. A church, we are church tonight. Feel you know. Work, we are work tonight. I feel like, feel like traveling. I feel like, I feel And so as we travel on in this service this evening, I invite to bring the prayer to bring us before the throne of grace, Sister Nikair Malcolm, followed by the scripture reading from Sister Farrell Mackenzie. And this will be taken from Matthew 25, reading from verses 1 to 13 in that order. Afternoon, everyone. Let us pray. Adonai, we worship you this morning, this afternoon. God, we give you praise and we give you glory. God, from the rising of the sun unto the setting of the same, your name is indeed worthy to be hallowed. Adonai, Lord God Almighty, I ask you even now to forgive me of all my sins and all my unrighteousness, Almighty God. And as I come before your presence this afternoon, Lord God, you know the purpose in which we are gathered here this afternoon. God Almighty, you have brought us together as a body of Christ, Lord God Almighty, to win souls for your kingdom. God Almighty, but we cannot do this by our own self. It is but by the spirit of the living God can souls be converted can hearts be changed? Oh, God Almighty, I pray even now that you will come, Lord God Almighty, in our midst and do a work that only you alone can do, Almighty God. I pray, God Almighty, that wherever a sinner is, wherever a backslider is, God Almighty, just by the sound of the speaker, Almighty God, they will be quickened in their spirit. They will see the need to run and hear what you have to say to them this afternoon. Almighty God, help them to know the urgency of knowing you even now. Because the time is short. Oh God Almighty, and so we ask you God that anyone that has been hurt, whether church hurt or otherwise... Oh God Almighty, and refuse Almighty God to surrender to you, Almighty God, that you, Lord God, will touch their hearts, Almighty God, melt their hearts. Lord God, for a dark heart, a gunman, Lord Jesus, a killer, a murderer, Lord God, you can change them. You can bring them to the altar tonight. And we pray, God, that this evening, Almighty God, the call will be easy. Oh God, preaching will be easy. Singing will be easy. Worshiping will be easy. Praising will be easy. God Almighty, not by our might, but your power. So touch everybody who has to take part. Remove self, God Almighty. Kill flesh Jesus even now. And let your spirit be glorified. Touch the speaker, Almighty God. 
Let him be an oracle of yours. Let his voice, God Almighty, go out as an earthquake. Almighty God, that the very voice that he speaks, Almighty God, will cause transformation. Almighty God, that the ears, Almighty God, will hear the word. And Lord God Almighty, you will do the rest. We thank you, God. We praise you. We honor you tonight. And we give you thanks in Jesus' name. Good night, church. The scripture reading is taken from Matthew 25, verses 1 to 13. And it reads, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, not so, lest there be not enough for us and you, but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we worship him in the house tonight? Are you glad to be here? My brothers and sisters, 2023 crusade is up and running. Let me hear you make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Amen, amen. Week one is done and we just are draw gears. But we thank God for the victories that have been wrought thus far. And we look forward to what he has in store for us tonight and beyond. Is that an amen? Amen. So uh, we thank God for Sister ne Ma Malcolm and Sister Mackenzie for their participation in the service so far. My surname does not start with an M, but I am the moderator tonight. Uh, my name is Sheldon Clark, and I will be guiding the proceedings this evening. Now, you have done well to come in your father's house this evening. Uh, put your hands together for being here. I want to also thank those who are on the online space who are tuning in. God bless you. We thank you for, for watching. You could be, you know, watching something else. But you are on a Friday night after work watching Crusade. God bless you. Put your hands together for those in the online space. And, uh, permit me to acknowledge the presence of our host pastor, Bishop Dr. Clement Clark. Our associate pastor, Reverend Jennifer Brown. I'm not sure if the other ministers are here. Uh, Reverend Blair or his wife, they're here. Um, the members of the Church and Pastors Council, if you are here, we acknowledge you. Um, are there any first-time visitors among us this evening? Oh, could, could you just wave your hand? Okay, thank you. Put your hands together for them. Bless you, bless you, bless you. And I'm sure someone might have invited you, so we'll get the details later. I won't jump the gun. But thank you for coming. If there's anybody nearby them, you can just greet them and tell them, you know, thank you for coming. God bless you. My brothers and sisters, this is Liberty Hall. You, 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 you remember what the, the, the theme for the crusade is? It's time to... 
And so we are here to break free in Liberty Hall. And so just free up yourself to worship. Free up yourself to receive what God has for you. And free up yourself to become that which God wants you to become. Is that an amen? amen. So at this time, I'll invite the praise team to lead us in singing the theme song tonight. I speak Jesus. Invite them to come at this time.
One last time, say your name. Your name is power. Lord, your name is healing. Your name is life. Jesus, break every stronghold. Shine through the shadows, God. Burn like a fire. Somebody lift the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus. And there is life in the name of Jesus. Somebody lift up the hands and worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. For it is He who will bring the breakthrough. It is through Him that we will break free tonight. God bless you as you are seated in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Powerful name, the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Permit me to greet the night's speaker, Bishop Steve Hepburn, and his family as they walked in this evening. We acknowledge you, sir. Please stand, um, stand um, First Lady Hepburn and their wonderful daughter, Bishop Steve Hepburn. Good to have you, sir. I won't say anything. I'm a moderator tonight, not a personal friend. So God bless you. I'll leave it there. Praise God. At this time, you know, it's always good when we can encourage each other as the body of Christ. Is that an amen? And so it's good to have testimonies. Because some, God must do something good for somebody. Is that an amen? I, I, and so some of us may be discouraged or just want... A word of encouragement to lift our hearts, to lift our spirits. And so at this time, to tell of the goodness of God in their specific situation, I invite Sir Gabriel Samuels to come and share what the Lord has done for her. Please make her welcome as she comes. Good night, church. Can I get a hallelujah? hallelujah? So tonight, I was down there and I was going over in my head and going over in my head and I'm like, Lord, which one? Which one should I tell tonight, Lord? And then... I've been living in, a, in God's perfect timing season. And I thought that that's the one I'm going to share. So I remember back in 2021, I, we were having fasting service. And we were to carry emblems of things that we wanted God to do for us. 2021, right? Early 2021, about February. And I brought some things and I've laid it at, laid it at the altar. And since then, I've been actively praying to God about those situations. 2021, come and done, and I'm like, God, Really? 2022 start and I'm like God a whole year now 2023 come in and I'm like I totally forgot about it I forgot about it last year December and in January of 2023 God said it is your time now and a series of things happened after that particular blessing. 
years, me I pray for you know, months, and I just a little bit of prayer. Pastor pray over it, prayer team pray over it. Everybody I pray over it. Everybody that I've told the situation to, been praying over it, and nothing now go on for me. I mean, I said, then God, what, what about me? I see other people who, I'm like, I get theirs, and I'm like, so God, when is my time? And then he keep on reminding me that it, it, is, it is in his perfect timing that he will make due to his word. So I just want to remind somebody tonight that no matter what you're going through tonight, God doesn't work on man timing. He doesn't respect the time of man because his timing is perfect. And everything is made perfect within his timing. So tonight I want to encourage somebody that's here tonight that you may have been waiting on something from God and you might have feel like he's totally forgotten about you but he has not forgotten about you he's an on-time God and he will come through for you thank you Praise the Lord, EPR. Praise the Lord one more time. Wave your hands in the presence of the Lord. Truly God is good, amen? His presence is here, amen? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Just wave your hands one more time. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship and adore you, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Holy Ghost, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If I ask for things that I should not ask for, if I pray for things selfishly, if I ask for myself and not for my neighbors, let this way from my eyes and let me see it's not my will but thine be done praise Jesus may the same prayer be mine robe of flesh that I wear it makes me falter guide my steps hold my hand all the way if I love all my friends
tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, Brother Haynes. Continue to worship God in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. At this time, my brothers and sisters, we are going to give unto the Lord. The word of God reminds us that God so loved the world that he did what? He gave. He gave his best gift, which was his only begotten son. And so, you know, uh, the word of God also says that money answereth all things. And so we know that it takes cash to care. And so we believe God for the resources, but we also know that God can use us as the resources. And so I challenge you as an expression of your love this evening that you will give to God not just a gift, but your best gift. Is that an amen? As an expression of your love. Love gives willingly with a, with a willing heart. And so let us give our best offering tonight for the cause of the kingdom. And we also invite you those envelopes of which you were instructed to give your special contribution. Which is directly for the crusade. We ask you that if you have those envelopes tonight that you can also come up and give them as well. 
So let us just get your contribution in your hand as we're about to pray at this time. Let us pray. Father, we just give you thanks for life. We thank you that you loved us so much that you gave your best gift, your only begotten son. Lord, because of that, we are the better for it. We have an eternal hope. And so, Lord, you do not ask much of us for your yoke is easy and your burden light. But, Lord, as an expression of our love, cause us to give of our resources, Lord. Cause us to give with a willing heart because we know that you are nobody's debtor. And so we ask you that you will empower your people to give this evening and throughout the duration of this crusade and that the needs shall be met and most importantly that the kingdom of God will be built up for your glory here on earth. We give you thanks for the provisions that shall be made in Jesus' name. And the church said, Amen. Immediately. Oh, and for those giving online, please uh, look at the screen. You can make your donation via Spur Open, so you can just take note of the instructions online. Thank you. God bless you. Immediately after the offering, we will have Bishop Dr. Clark to take over from there. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord's our rock. In him we hide shelter in the time of storm.
of God. Come on, everybody, praise him. Give him a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Are you expectant tonight? Do you feel as if something good is about to happen? Do you feel that there's a miracle with your name written on it? Hallelujah! Hallelujah, hallelujah. We give God all the glory. Greetings, my brothers and sisters. It's great to be in the house of the Lord another time. Permit me to say thanks to those who have been playing their role so splendidly. God bless you richly as you continue to shine for the Lord. God bless you richly. Let me say thanks, therefore, to all of you who have truly um, given your best as you have prepared the way for what is to come. I want to recognize our associate pastor, Reverend Jennifer Brown and Brother Brown. I want to recognize all the members of the church. I see Reverend Blair. Reverend Blair, is that you? Oh, I thought it was Reverend Blair. Okay. <laughs> That was a fa false alarm. <laughs> so we, I continue therefore to welcome all the members of the church and pastors, council, and their spouses. God bless you. Give them a hand. I want to welcome all our visitors personally. It's a delight to have you. And we want to thank you for coming. Thank you for make it, making it the EPR um, tonight. God bless you. I'm sure that there's a very special blessing awaiting you. Permit me to give a very, very special welcome to the VIPs, those who... Praise God. They consist of two different kinds. Those who have gotten, who were baptized on Sunday. Those who were baptized on Sunday. Raise your hand. Praise God. And those who have gotten saved since Sunday. Raise your hand. Okay, all right. Okay, so we give God thanks for um, those who were baptized, and we look forward to seeing so those who have gotten saved since um, the crusade has started. Um, my brothers and sisters, we want to thank God for those who have brought persons, who have invited persons, and they have come. You have invited persons, and they have come. And so we have a few of those. We have um, Sonia Pinnock, Sister Sonia Pinnock. All right, Sister Pinnock. Sister Pinnock has invited one person. Could you stand with, with Sister Pinnock? Praise God. Put your hands for them. God bless you. It's great to have you. We have Joshimar Ibanks. And Joshimar, could you please stand? Okay. And he has invited one person. Praise God. Good, good. And then we have 
Sudin Williams. Sudin, stand again. You see which, which area that she's in? She's occupying the young converts area, but she's on the ball. And she has invited four persons. Where are they, Sudin? Okay, all four. Could you please stand all four? There. Yeah, okay, okay. It's five. <laughs> of course, he or she is a full person. So, <laughs> we give God the glory. Thank you. Um, Sudin, could you please come for your prize, ma'am? Yes, Brother Sam. Oh, thank you. God bless you. Could you please stand? Oh, come on, praise God. All right, Brother Sam, please register them when you come. <laughs> okay. All right, Brother Sam. All right, all right. God bless you, Brother Sam. We appreciate that. Sudin, God bless you, girl. You have just come on, on the ball right away. We really appreciate it. Keep it up. You might just win the final prize at the end. God bless you. Huh? And she's just telling me that she won yesterday as well. <laughs> All right. She might just win the prize. Okay, okay. It's a new convert. Oh, new convert invited somebody as well. Yes, we want to. Yes, God bless you. Put your hands together for, for them. They're doing a fantastic job. God bless you richly. Uh, my brothers and sisters, before we have the preacher, I want to just say thanks to those of you who have been giving to the glory of God to this crusade. You can in no wise lose your reward. All right, so far for this week, you have done well. Put your hands together for yourself. And so we believe that as you have given tonight, you will allow us to clear off everything for this week, every debt for this week. All right? So God bless you. Thank you so much. And we pray that that which you have given will be multiplied back many times to you. God bless you richly. My brothers and sisters, we are delighted to have, to bring the word of God um, this evening, a young man that God is using to bless all over, could I say the world? Because he has preached like some others throughout the length and breadth of Jamaica, every nook and cranny of Jamaica is preached in the Caribbean, is preached, I know, in Canada, in North America, and is preached in Europe, an international speaker indeed. My brothers and sisters, he needs no introduction at the EPR because he has come and God has used them in extraordinary ways right here. We are delighted to have with us Reverend Steve Hepburn. You almost disappointed me, but I know, <laughs> but I know you're on the ball as well. With him is his lovely wife and our, one of our daughters from Kobla. Um, we have many sons and daughters from Kobla. 
And you know that's where Reverend Knight is from. All right, and so I ask Sister Hepburn and daughter just to get up and just let us see the lovely. <laughs> Praise God. Yes, she has decided to marry this gentleman, man, and we accepted him in the family. And so we thank God. <laughs> He's a good young man, and so we accepted him willingly into the family. Um, with him, with Reverend Hepburn, are um, a few of his council members and others from the church. Could you just stand at this time? <clears throat> Praise God. And so as soon as the kingdom praises uh, minister to us and they usually do very well and I know tonight will be no exception is crusade singing we're getting tonight praise God <laughs> as soon as they are through singing I'm going to ask you to stand and with a rousing round of applause welcome our speaker for tonight Reverend Steve Hepburn put your hands together for the kingdom praises timing and season tonight we come to tell you that it is your season now to be blessed God has made you a promise and you have stood the test he's gonna open up heaven he's gonna pour you out a blessing so we come to say that it is your season to be blessed
God, I'm not going to preach. But it's nice that you give your pastor a hand still. <laughs> Praise God. But my brothers and sisters, I'm sure you'd agree with me that I can't sit down justifiably and not welcome those who are online. No, I can't do that. I would feel so bad because everybody's everywhere is telling me that you know, apart from Montego Bay, we can't see any church that you have so many persons online while service is going on. And so I want to let those who are in the virtual space know, my brothers and sisters, they are from everywhere across the world. Everywhere across the world. We want you to know that we appreciate you and we ask you send the link send the link please to somebody else let them know that a miracle is at the EPR for them and so they should just continue to tune on and when you tune in you subscribe because that is good you will always be getting um, these services as they come up so put your hands together and welcome our online congregation from everywhere in the world. God bless you richly. We are delighted, absolutely delighted to have you. God bless you. Put your hands together for the preacher. I'm happy every day as I travel through this land. I've been mighty blessed by God And I'm holding to his hand The journey's almost over All the battles ready won And I have a feeling in my heart The best is yet to come The best is yet to come When I walk Jordan's back as I face the rolling tide. The storms and clouds are raging, but I'm happy down inside. I see the light boat coming, Lord, to take me safely home. Church of God, this would park road. The best is yet to come.
Jesus. Don't wait on me to tell you to worship. This is an atmosphere of worship. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody show glory. Glory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Glory. Yes, yes. We have your holy hands and shout yes. Yes. We have your sanctified hands and shout hallelujah. Yes. Lift your voice like a triumph. And shout your highest praise. Yes. Yes, Sit down if you can. God Almighty. Bishop, there's something. God Almighty, somebody, somebody, if you got to tell your neighbor, excuse me, but there's a victory place that is inside of me, that if you give me 30 seconds, I'm going to send it up to the one who deserves all praise and glory. Shabande kesandu kesandu rabo kesha. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Uh, yes, sir. I feel like another Azusa Street. Shakuta Kribo Shanda. I feel like another revival that hit Jamaica some years ago. is about to hit Eastwood Park Road. Somebody lean over to your neighbor and say, neighbor. My shackles are broken and I am delivered. My shackles are broken. I've been set free. Sit down now. Sit down. Now. Sit down Eastwood Park, sit down, I know you can worship, I know something happened in your life, I know something has been happening in your life, that you just can't keep it to yourself, you just can't be ungrateful, you just cannot demonstrate any level of unthankfulness, you just have to release it. Somebody clap your hands and shout hallelujah. I did say clap your hands and shout hallelujah. Thank you praise team, don't go far. You've been doing a fantastic job. Jesus Christ. God, Bishop Clark. I feel God. This is not a makeup. This is no pretense. This is no emotion led by self. This is the Holy Spirit. Somebody shout glory quickly. Yes, sir. Let me greet. Ah. <laughs> Woo! Yes, sir. Somebody glorify God. Ah, glory. Glory. The Holy Spirit is here. The third person of the triune God. Hallelujah. When I talk about the Father, the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit they are in no order in terms of rank come on somebody but they are equal come on somebody equal come on somebody God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit come on somebody recognize the Holy Spirit God manifested in flesh came and carry out the great transaction salvation and redemption when he was about to depart he says I will leave you a comforter come on now somebody God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit that I speak of has been mentioned in Genesis when he said come let us <laughs> come let us Come on, somebody help me here. That's kind of heavy stuff. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Am I talking to the church? It's important. Hello, somebody. So when you talk about, you talk and, talk and teach about angels. Yes. Systematic theology. Jesus is not being mentioned among the ranking angels. For there you find him being taught about in Christology. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Hello somebody. When you teach about angels, Lucifer has been mentioned. But he's not been mentioned in the whole message of Christology because he's not Christ. He's one of the angels. But the one that was tossed and thrown out of heaven no occupies the bottomless pit but every now and then he goes to and fro throughout the earth creating and raking havoc come on now somebody the question was asked of the devil where you come from he said I've been around since you've been going to and fro in the earth somebody shout hallelujah Bishop Clark Sister Clark in her absence brother Sheldon Clark Amen. Son of our pastor and Chenille, who may be online, maybe. Yes, Reverend Jennifer Brown and Elder First Man Junior Brown. It's good to Reverend Blair in his absence. Oh, he's here now. So this is not a false alarm. This is a true alarm now, Bishop. He's here down there in a green shirt. Is that a green shirt? Come under the light. I don't want to make any mistake. You know. Come in the light. Let us see if it's green. It's green. All right, seem to be a dominant color in these past few months. <laughs> Amen. And all the church and pastors council members, various heads of department, technicians, musicians, praise team, choir, one and all who have gathered in this setting tonight, I greet you well in Jesus' name. Amen. Greetings, everybody. To our online viewers and participants of this worship service that have been taking place since the commencement of this crusade. And there are some who have always been with you in your different services as you stream them. Let me recognize them and let them know how important they are to our services each time. Amen, somebody. There are some persons who I have shared the link with from last night up to tonight I've shared a link with some 30 people both here and overseas let me recognize the members from Fort Lauderdale Grace Chapel amen who's watching at this time let me recognize the members from the East Flatbush Church of God in New York who is watching at this time let me recognize the persons from Hartford Connecticut Family Church of God of Prophecy let me recognize the members, I know they have messaged me, from the Fresh Oil Ministries in Orlando, Florida, Bishop Richard Notis Church. Amen. Let me recognize the members from Cayman who are watching. Amen. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The members from Bridgeport, Hartford, Connecticut who is watching. The members from Spaulding's Anian Town. The members from all across Jamaica who are watching at this time. My own family members who aren't here tonight, but they are watching. 
Greetings and good night. Thanks for your prayers and your support as we blaze the trail for the kingdom of Almighty God. My wife for 19 years is here with me tonight and I'm happy to have her, her company. Amen. With, she has accompanied me and almost everyone, almost, can I say all my trips? No. But most of them. She has been with me night and day. Amen. And I thank God for a traveling companion who knows God and knows the worth of ministry and support to her husband's ministry. God bless her and her love, our lovely daughter. Lest I get in trouble when I go home. Amen. And our brothers who have traveled with me tonight, again, I bless God for them tonight. They worked at the Spallings Church. We are doing, still doing building on the cathedral, uh, work on the cathedral, and they have been there all morning until after four. Yes, and here they are with me tonight again. Give God thanks for these builders, plumber, and carpenter who have been doing the work and the beautiful edifice in Spallings. Amen. Anybody want to come and look at the church? Yes, travel with Bishop on Sunday evening when he's coming. You coming, Sheldon? Yes, Sheldon is coming. Amen. <laughs> you coming too? And you too? Long time you want to come? Okay, all right. There's some persons who are coming, Bishop. So Pastor Brown, you're in charge on Sunday evening. When daddy comes down, he's my father-in-law, so you can't do anything about it. And he's our coordinator, so amen. Official duties call. So if I come two night, him can come one, not you? Balance the thing now, you look at me, sir. Whether you like it or not, you gone through the gate already. <laughs> amen. Just a little bit of humor. God bless you, everybody. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Somebody messaged me whilst I was seated there. Mr. Bishop, amen. It's just 24 hours since you've preached and your views have reached some 7,500 in 24 hours. Said so the largest number of views since the starting of this crusade. God is doing something. Somebody praise God. Somebody worship the name of the Lord. Exodus chapter 3. Let's hit the note and whoosh like Auntie Colleen. We're out of here. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Are you ready for a word, somebody? Are you ready for that word, somebody? Exodus chapter 3, somebody said, Pastor, why not New Testament scripture? And the, 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 the text that supports the theme comes from John 8. So why have you gone to Exodus? There's a message of redemption in this text. There's a message of grace. There's a message of deliverance. Amen. In this text. Somebody praise God. Exodus chapter 3 verse 13 to 15. I just can't stand here and do my own thing. I come on business for the king. Somebody praise God. Verse 13, 14 and 15. And Moses said unto God. Behold. When I come unto the children of Israel and shall say unto them, The God of our fathers hath sent me unto you. And they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thou shalt thou, thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am sent me unto you. And God said moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, the Lord God of our fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, hath sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. Somebody praise God. A portion of God's holy word we say, Amen. My brothers and sisters, permit me tonight to speak to us from the topic, the I am God. The I am God is able to break free, is able to deliver, 
is able to heal, is able to give breakthrough. Somebody praise God. My brothers and sisters, God does the impossible, Bishop Clark. The story is told by an unknown source. And this is what the source says. That a boy, a young boy traveling by airplane to visit his grandparents. So he sat beside a man who happened to be a seminary professor. The boy was reading a Sunday school take home paper. And the professor thought he would have some fun with the lad. Young man, he said, if you can tell me something God can do, I will give you a big shiny apple. Uh-oh. Just that. The boy thought for a moment, Bishop, moderator, and then replied, Reverend Brown, he said, Mr. Sir, if you can tell me something God can't do, I will give you a whole barrel of apples. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Are you still there, somebody? Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, I want you to understand that my God can do the impossible. Hallelujah. For some people, there are some things, there are some issues, there are some conditions that you may be facing or you have faced and you have thought and you have been thinking that there's no way out. It is virtually impossible to get out of this. But I want to introduce you to somebody, to someone who can do the impossible. Somebody praise God. My brothers and sisters, the text, the chapter before us, hallelujah, outlines to us something that God has done that from as far as humans' perspective and point of view, then uh, they thought that it was a done deal for those children in Israel. Die there or remain in bondage. Prior chapters in the book of Exodus Explain how the descendants of Abraham became a nation which was heavily populated but enslaved in the land of Egypt. Are you still there somebody? When you look at chapter 1 it, of the book of Exodus Bishop, it tells us that the people of Israel, the children of Israel were under severe pressure uh, from their taskmaster Pharaoh. But the more pressure they applied, the more the children of God multiplied. Somebody praise God. Can I hurriedly say that some people apply pressure to us, expecting us to crumble, expecting us to give up, expecting us to quit. But I have news for them. The children of God. God will increase even under pressure. The children of God will bring forth and produce a greater level of success even in the face of pressure. Somebody praise God. So I want to tell some people that the cow foot, brother Allen, the ox tail, that part of it, what, let me not call it name, I'm going to deal with them something. It's near to my Sabbath, I'm going to deal with them too. Not using it. When you get the trotters of that thing, sometimes it is so hard. Hello, let me not use it. But then, when my grandmother had an old rooster and would have desired it to be prepared for Sunday dinner, she just did not ask any of us to go and catch it Saturday night or Sunday morning. Come on, summer. We had to do that from midweek. 
from Tuesday, Wednesday. Prepare it, put it on the basket. Feed it on vinegar and water and corn. Come on, somebody. And then kill it Friday evening. Mama would season it. And then Sunday morning, no pressure cooker. She would put it in the pot. No rusty nail, though. That's that price. <laughs> and even when she's going to church, it's still not ready. Because the rules start off. Somebody praise God. But then, with more heat, with more fire under the Dutch pot, sooner or later, it must cook. Ready for consumption. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. When, when you look at the nowadays, the present day, the sophisticated, those who are used to the pressure cooker, pressure cooker, the rice cooker, yes, the swift cook, fast cook, come on somebody, the pressure cooker is like this, you put the meat in it, you put on the lid with the rubber in it, and then you put on the weight, but a few minutes later, when you put on the weight, the rubber and the cover, you lock it. You're applying pressure. But as soon as you lift the pressure, what is inside that was hard, tough, was ready for consumption. Can I tell somebody? Ah, let the enemy, let the devil apply pressure. Because as soon or later, you're going to come forth ready. Prepared and ready. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Pressure was applied to the children of Israel by the taskmaster Pharaoh. But they multiplied. They increased even under pressure. Somebody praise God. So Exodus 3, as I run it through, describes the moment when God called Moses to lead Israel out of slavery. This is accomplished through the miracle of the burning bush. The beginning of this dialogue between God and Moses includes messages for both Israel and Pharaoh. The chapter provides one of scripture's most infamous encounters, Moses and the burning bush. This chapter can be divided into four sections. Come on, somebody. So, my brother, before I even say this, can I say this to you, brothers and sisters, that Moses saw a burning bush, and it, he became curious. And so, it drew his attention. And as he got a little bit close and wanted to see what was happening, then a voice came saying, Moses, Moses, take thy shoe from off thy feet for the place where thou standest. But then when you look at Joshua chapter 3 and the verse 15, Joshua didn't see any burning bush, but it was a servant of the Most High God. Come on, somebody. That stood before him and when he saw him. Come on, somebody. Moses, uh, Joshua bowed down and worshiped. And he says, what have you come? Are you for us? Or you're against us? He said, nay. But then he said unto Joshua, remove the shoe from off thy feet. For where thou standest is holy. God Almighty, you don't love that kind of preaching. So one saw a burning bush. And it drew him to uh, it, it, it allowed him to move closer in wanting to see what was happening. The other saw us, uh, 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 an angel of God. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. So look at the division. In verses 3 to 8 of the book of Exodus, we see where Moses served as shepherd. Then he gets a call. Come on, somebody. He served as shepherd and then he gets a call. Isn't it like David?
Can I make some comparisons and make some link? Isn't it like David who was on the backside of the desert? Come on, serving as shepherd. Nobody remember him, not even his own father. Come on, somebody, because perhaps when Samuel came down and looking for someone to be king amongst his son, come on, somebody, he being on the backside of the desert didn't fit the description. Ah, oh God, he didn't tall, he didn't have square shoulders. Ah, oh God, he didn't have the countenance, the looks of a, of a king. Come on, somebody, but because Samuel was sent by God and he was under the influence of Almighty God, somebody, he just couldn't stood there, stand there and do his own thing. Somebody praise God. Are you still there, somebody? And so, uh, even when Jesse offered him, he said, sit down, let's ease yourself. Have some meat. Come on. So he said, no, I can't sit down. Come on. I am come to anoint. Are you still there, brothers and sisters? Uh, she, Moses was called uh, from being a shepherd to be a leader. Uh, God, a rescuer, a deliverer. It is by no means a mistake that the name Moses means to draw out. Somebody praise God. Moses was ideal. Was the right person to go to Pharaoh. Because he grew up in Pharaoh's house. He knows the in and out. God Almighty, somebody help me preach somewhere here. And so in verses 3 to 8, Moses served as shepherd, then he gets a call. In verses 9 to 15, the unfold, we see the unfolding name of God. In verses 16 through to 19, we see God's message to the elders of Israel. And in verses 20 to 22, we see the assurance of Moses. Assurance to Moses of Israel's upcoming deliverance. Are you still there, brothers and sisters? It is widely believed that Moses was 40 years old. Don't kill me, theologians, and who study better than I do. Come on, us, right, Tiffany? It is widely believed that Moses, oh, Christian says me, that's all right. It's widely believed that Moses was 40 years old when he thought that God was going to use him to deliver the Israelites from slavery in Egypt. He also assumed that God's people were ready to be delivered. And so chapter 2 focuses on one Hebrew boy baby, Moses, who is destined to become the deliverer of the nation. The parents of this child hide him for three months, refusing to obey Pharaoh's order. Are you still there, somebody? Eventually, they concede to partially obey by casting Moses into the Nile in a woven ark well, oh God, in a woven basket ark whatever you want to call it what could well have been the death of Moses became his deliverance as he was rescued by Pharaoh's daughter and eventually taken into the palace to be raised as her son now being a grown up man he saw an Egyptian beating a Hebrew slave Moses took decisive action and killed the Egyptian but the next day when he tried to intervene between two Hebrews fighting with each other they resisted his, resisted his attempt at leadership he realized that his murder of the Egyptian the day before was widely known and so Pharaoh wanted to kill him so Moses had to flee for his life God Almighty and when he fled for his life he ended up in a remote place in the desert where he met a shepherd named Ruel Rehuel, also known as Jethro go read Exodus 2 18 and chapter 3 1 he was the priest of Midian who had seven daughters we are sure for certain whether Jethro truly knew God at this point although later he seems to have come to know him in Exodus 18 1 to 11 Moses married Zipporah one of the daughters and he and she had two sons and tended to his father Moses tended to his father's laws sheep for 40 years somebody praise God probably he watched as he watched that flock he repaid his mind he replayed in his mind many times the events that had led him led to him being out there in the wilderness 
he probably wondered why God had allowed him to go from the center of importance in Pharaoh's court to this obscure, lonely, insignificant place of caring for a flock of sheep. Moses struggled with, with why God hadn't used him to deliver his people there and then at, this at that time. Then one day, let the church say one day. Let the church say one day, the old shepherd saw an unusual sight. He was in a region called Horeb, where Mount Sinai was located, when he saw a bush burning with fire, but not burned up. He turned aside to check it out when the angel of the Lord called to him from the middle of the bush. The angel told Moses to return to Egypt to God's instrument, hallelujah, in delivering the Israelites from the hand of Pharaoh. Are you still there, somebody? The angel of the Lord spoke to Moses. Somebody praise God. I said the people of God cried out from in Egypt. Our God concerning their affliction, concerning their afflictor, concerning the pain, concerning the captivity, concerning the bondage that they were in and they were under. And when they cried out to God, somewhere in the book of Exodus, it says that as they cried out to God, God heard their cry. He says, I have seen your tears. I have heard your cry. I have knowledge of your sorrows. And so I am come down to deliver. Shut up. Come with me, musician. There are four verbs being used or demonstrated by God. One, he says, I have seen. Come on, somebody. I have heard. I have knowledge and know. I am aware. And so if God sees, if he hears, if he has knowledge about what we are going to, through, then expect him to do something. So he says, I am come down. I feel God in this house. Can I tell somebody that God says to tell you, he has seen your tears. He has heard your cry. He has knowledge of your affliction. He has knowledge of your pain. He has knowledge of the bondage and the captivity that the enemy have placed you in. Somebody praise God. He has knowledge of how restricted our oh God you are, how limited you are, how bound up you are. And so he says, I am come down to deliver. If God has come down to deliver, expect him to deliver. He's not a trickster. He's not a politician. Somebody praise God. He's not one who promises and fail to keep his promise. He's going to show up. Oh God Almighty. Prayer warriors. Lord God, warfare people. Come on somebody. I'm touching on a messy path right now. And so you can't lock me in this path. You have to cover me a little bit here. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. God said, I am come down. I am come down. I am ready to talk to Pharaoh. And I want to use you as my mouthpiece. Shatakakotoria. Somebody praise God. Moses said, I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody pray for me here. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. I understand him to be the pre-incarnate appearance. Somebody praise God. In that one instant, Moses' life and the history of Israel were changed forever. Somebody praise God. 
Somebody praise God. Can I share three quick points with you? One, the I am God calls Moses. Somebody praise God. I know there is no Moses here tonight. But God is calling somebody as he called Moses. Somebody praise God. He says, when the Lord saw that he turned aside to look, meaning Moses, God didn't speak to Moses until he had Moses' attention. Often God's word doesn't touch our heart the way that it might have because we don't give it our attention. The burning bush was a spectacular phenomenon that captures Moses' attention but it changed nothing until Moses received the word of God that came to him there. Somebody praise God. God called to him from the midst of the bush. Moses didn't see anyone in the burning bush yet God in the presence of the angel of the Lord was there calling out to Moses from the beds of a burning bush undoubtedly church this is another occasion where Jesus appeared before his incarnation in the Old Testament as the angel of the Lord as he did many times in Genesis 16 7 13 in Judges 2 1 to 5 in Judges 6 11 to 24 in Judges 13 3 to 22 I humbly put forward as I hasten to bring you out to here that this is God in the person of Jesus Christ because of God the Father it is said no one has seen God at any time the only begotten son who is in the bosom of the Father he has declared him John 1 18 and that no man has ever seen God in the person of the Father first Timothy 6 16 he says Moses Moses God's first words to Moses called him by name this shows that even though Moses was now, was now hiding or he see or he thought to himself that he was well concealed he was now a forgotten about shepherd on the backside of the desert no one seemed to have remembered him but someone far greater than human someone far mightier than the created he is the creator God knew who he was God saw where he was God wanted his attention God wanted to use him somebody praise God I feel my helper somebody praise God and so it was a double call let the church say a double call it was not just a single call it was a double call what do you mean by double call pastor he says Moses Moses when he says Moses Moses it implies importance and urgency as when he's called Abraham Abraham in Genesis 22 11 in 1st Samuel 3 10 he says Samuel Samuel in Luke 22 31 he says Simon Simon in Luke 10 41 he said Martha Martha in Acts 9 4 he says Saul Saul it was a call of urgency it was a call of importance somebody in my meeting somebody in the setting there's a double call from God for you tonight don't ignore it don't block it don't resist it I travel too many miles with the voice of God speaking in my spirit to say Joshua Joshua Mikey Mikey Sharon Sharon Sonia Sonia Margaret Margaret Raja Raja Shato Kosata Michael Michael Lord God Sandra Sandra Sheketa Korea Nikki Nikki Oh God 
somebody you're important to God somebody God need you ah, you're at a point you're at a breaking point you're at a point when you're about to cave in but the great rescuer the great way maker the great God sees from the splendor of glory and he's calling you he says you have wandered far away from me you gotta come home you gotta come home oh god almighty come on he said back come on epr come on epr emphasis importance relevance and urgency is it's been implied when you hear moses moses God, you're praying for me in verse 4b God Almighty watching the time you don't have to watch it for me I'm watching it somebody praise God somebody praise God in verse 4b Moses said here I am come on somebody let the church say here I am let the church say here I am when God said Moses 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 say here I am Moses wasn't doing something more than answering present come on now somebody when I used to go to school at primary school when teacher mark your name you have to say present miss or present sir come on and she said where you are and you stick your finger up and you say see me here miss here I am miss here I am sir when God called Moses Moses stick up his finger and says present Jesus present God what you want me to do tonight is there somebody in my meeting you hear the voice softly and tenderly calling you will you raise your hand and say here I am Lord if you can use anything God Almighty Moses was doing something more than answering present my brothers and sisters, he was saying, God, you have my full attention. Even the more Moses was saying, I'm standing by God. Keep the orders. Oh God, I might have feel the Holy Ghost. Moses was saying, God, I'm standing by. What's the instruction? What's the orders? What do you want me to do, God? Come on, somebody. Lord God, we need to find some more committed faithful people in church who will say pastor God is calling me through you here I am pastor it doesn't mean that uh, uh, God some people will only work and answer present when they know that gifts and offers and returns are there for them Some people only answer present, here I am, when it is a position where everybody can see them. So if it's a position to clean the floor, to be the park attendant, oh, some people say, oh, do you know who I am, pastor? Bishop, do you know? I'm going to mash somebody can't tonight. Just Everybody can preach. Everybody can be moderator. Everybody can be musician. Everybody can be cameraman and camera woman. Everybody can be council member. Somebody have to be the janitor. Somebody have to be the usher. Somebody have to be the person on the backside. We are still in the service of the Lord. Some people think that because they are not up front, then pastor. Uh oh, you vex with me. You can't vex now. To tonight is my last night. But Moses said, Here I am. Moses wasn't told prior to what God was calling to. But he answered, He said, Here I am, God. Here I am. He didn't know he wasn't preempt. Huh? He was not pre. Uh, nobody told him prior to. Come on, somebody, what God was calling him for. But he was very much available. 
come on somebody pastor if you want trouble on Eastwood Park Road take some people over the council board you never see them Sunday morning pastor if you want trouble on Eastwood Park Road tell some people they can't serve on this board anymore they can't be president of life builders they can't be president of women if you want to stay here long leave some people pastor but they will set you up because you remove them out of position you can't preach the message here, Bishop Clark. You have to make a countryman preach this message. Some people only come because they're in the position. But the minute they don't have the position, you don't see them. There are some people who are position driven. Tech preaching, if you don't like it, then hush. Some people are position driven. The minute they lose the position, the minute they are voted out, Lose all the amen, brothers. You know better say amen for me. We drive a little up here. Somebody praise God. <laughs> Moses said, God, you have my full attention. Come on, somebody help me here. I'm standing by. In this case, Moses is most likely announcing that he is both present and I am also listening to you, God. Somebody praise God. There are some people who are present, but they are not listening. There are some people who are in church. Yes, they are here, but you ask them later what was said. Um, I think um, there are some people who are looking at you, but they are not listening. Because your mind is far away. And sometimes you are not saying or playing the tune that they want to hear. Thank God you are not a musician. Or else you would have missed a lot of people tune. Bishop. Oh Lord, thank God Sheldon is the keyboardist at home, not at church. My brothers and sisters, God issues two commands or instructions to Moses. He says, Moses, do not come any closer. And he says, remove your sandals. What is the rationale behind all of this? It is that Moses is standing on holy ground and that this is a holy place and a holy moment. Therefore, he needs to honor the moment. I'm the one who makes holy. Come on, somebody. Moses needs to show respect and reverence. Church, the time and place are holy because of Jehovah's presence. Somebody praise God. An, import, an important characteristic of Jehovah is that he is holy holy somebody praise God he is unique he is altogether righteous he is he radiates glory somebody praise God and so looking at verse 7 in this case three of the verbs of chapter 2 24 come on somebody to 25 I reiterated and I made mention of them earlier my brothers and sisters, I want you to understand, understand that when we study a story like this, we need to remember that this is a historical account of God's deliverance of suffering people from slavery and oppression. From that perspective, the story is relevant to many situations in the world that we are living today. God is concerned about injustice, about oppression, about uh, abuse. Come on somebody, of his people by some evil dictators in some positions. Lord God, you know, help me now. Somebody praise God here. There are some evil dictators who are sitting in some positions and because you are righteous, you are feeling the blunt of their evil hands. But I come, me come tonight to turn over the chair. Somebody, okay, Shande Kesatoria Bahaya. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Every injustice, every oppression that you have been placed under or you have been faced with from evil dictators. Lord God, afflict us and inflict us. Tonight you're gonna break free. 
my God, God is not gonna move you for your evil dictator to prosper. He's gonna move your evil dictator so you can flourish. So I just prophesied over somebody life. You miss a good place to shout. Say neighbor, is not your evil dictator. Lord God, I'm, that God is gonna remain, allowed to remain in the position. Somebody praise God, it is you. God place you there. So every evil dictator, every oppressor, every afflictor, every destroyer, everyone sent to hurt and to injury, God's people, we declare that today, tonight, this weekend, your position has been terminated. Your appointment shut down. Looking at me like you don't know what I'm talking about. But some of you left work with tears. Some of you leave your home. Lord God Almighty, hurting, bawling. Because some boss and bossress, some manager and manageress, somebody, some CEO and CEQ and CEM. Somebody praise God, general manager. I got operational manager, I trouble you. Somebody praise God, I pressure you. Come on, somebody. But I come to tell them, I'm sending a message back to your afflictor. Take your filthy hands of God's property. Take your nasty mouth out of God's business. The blood of Jesus is against you. Who God hire, no man fire. Who God appoint, no man disappoint. You didn't hire me so you can't fire me. You didn't appoint me so you can't disappoint me. I'm too blessed to be stressed. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. I feel you coming musician. Come, come. Sustain me and come. Back me up and come. Oh God, I see about 10 or 12 Holy Ghost people looking at me standing. But there are some others who are sitting. Come on, warfare. Lord God, every fear of, every fear of, every fear of, every fear of in the office our own big desk got ten with coffee mug and our oh god fighting you somebody praise god time up time up time expire somebody praise god somebody praise god every letter draft in the form of redundancy in the form of termination we cancel it every letter saved in document saved on the hard drive saved on the thumb drive that is geared for your failure that is geared to dismiss you right now we pray the holy ghost will locate it and corrupt the whole file not the last the thumb drive somebody shout hallelujah Somebody said the I am God, the I am God, the I am God calls Moses. He said, Moses, something are going with my people. When me no like oh, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Somebody praise God. God said, Moses, come here. Some of my people them don't so under heavy pressure. Lord God, them are ball. They are crying. Lord God, the enemy have multiplied their pressure. Somebody praise God. Some people just turn up pressure on you because you come from 49 to 51 Eastwood Park Road. Some of you too sophisticated to shout, you know. I want some radical people who can shout to help me shout. Some of you are under pressure because you speak in tongues. Some of you are under pressure because you come from Pentecostal church. Some of us are under pressure because we're affiliated to the church with the cross and the flame around it. We make too much noise, but we can't help it because what kind of church is this? It is a foot stamping and clapping, tongue talking, body racking, demon. 
scream and chase in firebrand church for Jesus set up on this rock God Almighty Bishop God Almighty God Almighty Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Say, neighbor, God is concerned about what you're going through. Some people may not know what you're going through. Some people may not understand what you're going through. But he says, I can be touched with the feelings of your infirmities. You see, you have some people. Watch this, Bishop. They ask you what you're going through because they want to know. But there's no form of concern with compassion. But then you have another set who are, sees your depression, sees how, see how you look and ask, Bishop, how you do? How you look so? What is happening? And when you pour out to the system, the sister said, Ah, oh, Bishop, I'm praying for you. You'll make it. But then you have others who say, What's you going through, Bishop? And you tell them and you read them out. They say, All right, I'll talk to you. And before you know it, your story has become somebody else's status, your story has become somebody else's profile message. Your story has become somebody's likes and dislikes. I can mash up somebody in this house tonight. If my story is gonna become your next post and status, give me a break. Please give me a break. I did not share my story for you to publicize it to the wicked underminers of this world. I shared my story because I thought that you're going to help me pray my way through. Are you still there preaching with me? Let me get out of here. Somebody shout hallelujah. But we have a God who is concerned about injustice and the oppression of people by evil dictators. But secondly, I am God did not only call Moses, but the I am God sends him. He calls and he sends. Verse 10 says, Most God says to Moses, Come now therefore, and I will send you to fear. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor, never doubt yourself. God is sending you because he knows your ability he knows your potential stop looking down at yourself stop telling yourself that you can't you won't you're unable to greatness lies in you oh God almighty somebody help me here he said, I am sending you, Moses, to Pharaoh, that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Somebody praise God. Egypt is a type of the world. So as you read through scriptures, hardly any place, if any, you have ever seen the name Egypt being mentioned and something good follows. Lord God, somebody help me here. God revealed his intent to Moses. And in so doing, I believe this hit Moses like a bombshell, so to speak. God intends to deliver his people. Come on, somebody. And it was Moses he needed to serve as his agent. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, God is calling you to serve as his agent. God Almighty. Moses said to God, who am I? That I should go to Pharaoh and that I should bring the children of Israel out of Egypt. Who am I? I reflect, oh God Almighty. 
Reflect Moses' understanding of his modest resources and the magnitude of the task. Moses was raised in the palace, but that was a long time ago. He killed an Egyptian and fled for his life. He has become a simple shepherd. How can word negotiate with Pharaoh? You did I hear what I said? How can words from the mouth of a man who is stuttering speech negotiate with mighty Pharaoh? Come on, somebody. Moses was expressing his woeful inadequacy. Then God says to Moses, I will be with you. As he expresses his woeful inadequacy, God says, keep quiet boy. I'll be with you. Come on somebody. Have you ever reached to that place and said, I just can't manage. I can't deal with this. I can't handle this. I'm at my breaking point. I am alone in this. I, oh God Almighty, somebody help me. But then you get that reassurance through the Holy Spirit that I am with you. I hear Abraham says, God called Abraham. He said, Come here, old man. Take up your things. Pack up. I'm sending you. Somewhere. Abraham said, Yes, God. But on, under one condition. I'll go, yes. But I'll only go if your presence go with me. Somebody praise God. Moses didn't have to ask God if he was going to come with him. Moses, God said to Moses, I will be with you. Somebody praise God. Moses said to God in verse 13, when I come to the children of Israel and tell them that the God of our father and your father sent me to you. They asked me and they asked me, what is his name? What should I tell them? Stutter Moses. You know. God responded to Moses. He said, Mo Moses, tell them that the I am the Yahweh God Almighty somebody praise God somebody praise God somebody praise God tell him that the L singular the him plural in Hebrew am I correct put them together Elohim God Almighty somebody help me here Sends you. Somebody praise God. Tell them I am send me to you. Looking at the cultural context in which this story is setting happen, we, we do know, we do know that the people of that day considered a person's name to be more than a simple label to identify that person they believed it got something of the person's identity was something of the person's identity was tied up in the name that the name expressed something of the person's essential character somebody praise God it is obvious that from what is seen in the verse is that they all assume that a name or rather some names possessed something of the power of the one who wore or carries that name I believe Moses says tell me your name perhaps if I can tell the people God's name that will persuade them to believe him knowing God's name will give him authority our God Almighty but God says to Moses he said you need a name come with me musician somebody praise God he said tell him that the I am he was saying Jehovah but, uh, tell him I am meaning Yahweh 
tell him I am meaning the Elohim tell him the I am meaning El Shaddai when you say I am and they ask who is the I am tell them that the king of kings the almighty God somebody praise God in Hebrew he says tell them that the I am the Yahweh somebody praise God Jehovah translated to be the Lord the Greek version of the Old Testament uses the word Kairos Lord come on Greek teacher Kairos Lord a name that indicates he is in himself I am that I am this explains his name Jehovah and it signifies that he is self-existent somebody praise God he has his being of him somebody of himself and has no dependence upon any other the greatest and the best man in the world must say by the grace of God I am what I am but God says absolutely and it is more than any creature man or angel can say I am that I am somebody praise God being self-existent he cannot be self-sufficient somebody praise God and therefore all sufficient uh, and the inexhaustible fountain of being and bliss not only is he self-existent he's eternal and unchangeable always the same yesterday today and forever he will be with you he will be what he will be and what he is revelation 1 8 uh, God uh, that uh, uh, come on somebody can I talk to you when he says I am sends you tell him that we cannot by searching find him out he's past finding out this is such as a, a name as checks all bold and curious inquiries concerning God and in effect says ask not of my name after my name seeing it is secret Judges 13 8 Proverbs 30 verse 4 do we ask what is God let it suffice us to know that he is what he is what he ever was and ever will be how little a portion is heard of him Job 26 40 and then he is faithful and true to all his promises that means he's unchangeable in his word as well as he's in his in his nature he's not a man that he should lie let Israel know this that I am hath sent me unto you he said to Moses is tell the people Israel the Lord God of your fathers hath sent me unto you verse 15 thus God had made himself known to him in verse 6 and thus he Moses must make him known unto them somebody praise God God calls Moses God sends Moses tonight God has called you and God is sending you come on us somebody who will go come on us somebody and gather the sheaves who will go and win lost souls to the cross who will work for me today somebody praise God third and finally somebody praise God the I am God calls Moses then the I am God sends Moses and then number three the I am God delivers somebody praise God the I am God delivers he calls he sends and then he delivers how can Moses and the people of Israel be assured that God will deliver them from Egyptian bondage and will lead them into the promised land their confidence is well placed in the God whose nature and character is that of the I am that this is the point of this passage is evident from our consideration of two later Old Testament texts but now this is what the Lord says he who created you O Jacob he who formed you O Israel fear not come with me church of God fear not for I have redeemed you I have called you by name you are mine 
he says when you pass through the waters I will be with you and when you pass through the rivers they will not sweep you over when you walk through the fire you will not be burned neither will the flames set you ablaze for God says to tell you I am the Lord your God the Holy One of Israel your Savior I give you Egypt for your ransom Cush and Sheba in your stead somebody praise God Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody praise God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. It's Friday night. It's another night. And I've got to break free from my bondage, from my captivity, from the harsh pressure, from the ridicule, from the persecution, from the challenges, from my sickness, from my condition, from my striking, hell-bent condition. I've got to break free. I've got to come out of this. Hallelujah. I've been in this for too long. I've been battered for too long. I've been boxed all over for too long. I've been stripped. I've been targeted for too long. I've got to come out. I've got to come out. I hear the Israelites saying it has been for decades that I've been down here, that we have been in this state. We have tried so many things, but it's just beer whipping, beer whopping. Oh, the meals aren't good. Hallelujah. It's just one kind of meal. This today, that tomorrow. I'm tired and sick and tired. I've been sick and tired. Shatataco Sotoria. I've got a change. I need a change. I need to break free. I've been shackled. I've been limited. I've been under restriction. I've been under chain. I've been in a leash. Somebody praise God. The uptown people knows what I'm talking about. When you talk about a leash, you put a six inches or a three feet leash with a collar on your walking pet or your walking dog. And as you walk down Red Hills, as you walk through Manny's Hill with your dog, the dog cannot go no further than three feet out and back to you because a leash a chain restriction have been placed on that dog somebody praise God somebody praise God but I come to tell somebody that every leash every chain every shackle that have been placed on you by taskmasters by oppressors you gotta break free tonight every color every chain every cutaria that have been placed on you tonight is break free night tonight is deliverance night for the i am sent me from manchester to tell you that your bondage day is done your restriction day is done your limitations days are over your affliction days are over oh somebody shout here yeah. shout here yeah. shout here yeah. my helper my helper my helper this has been going on for too long for too long somebody said too long too long i come to break free i come to walk out i come to step out i come to march out out of bondage out of egypt out of your bondage out of your sickness out of your condition out of your curse out of your limitations out of it help lord help lord help lord help lord help somebody here tonight help me jesus help me jesus help me jesus bonnie under pressure margaret under pressure sandra under pressure sharon under pressure brother under pressure mother under pressure 
bondage, captivity, jailhouse, jailhouse. But come out, come out. Shukosata, ratokosande ketaya. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Your boy don't a GP. Your boy over Cameron Farm. Your boy over Madhouse. House. But tonight we call forth a jailbreak. Holy Ghost, you're not see me tonight. Holy Ghost, you're not help me tonight. Holy Ghost, you're not back me up tonight. The boy under curse. The boy under bandage. The boy wants strive and can't strive. For Satan have put a hole, have put a rope, have put an edge, have put a shackle upon the boy. But tonight, tonight, you send me come under the authority of the Holy Ghost to declare that every curse, every generational curse, every abominable thing, Shatatatoria, Bakosande Kesa, Rimonia Kasata, Landi Kesin Lukusiria, somebody out there in virtual space, it's your night to break free. Burst your shackle, burst your chain, burst your bondage door, burst your captivity door. Walk out, march out, somebody, somebody, why? Pray for me. Yeah, that town, pray for me. Me under pressure up at Eastwood Park Road. Spalling, pray for me. I want to come to Shatta Kosa, Raka Sanda. It can't turn so. It can't stay so. Come out, boy. Come out, daughters. Come out, son. Come out of Egypt. Come out of the curse. Come out of your Kosa. Come out of the bandage. Jesus Christ, let me go, let me go. Pull me, pull me. Pull me, pull me. And no say so Somebody praise God. So, yes, musician. Show, show, show. All eighteen year old break free. Twenty year old break free. Thirty year old break free. Marriage break free. Workplace break free. Ministries break free. Show. So. Kosona. Rakusa. Rambo Kesanda. The I am. The I am. It's in Eastwood Park. The I am. It's on a visit. The I am. Has sent me. He said, Yea. Though I walk through the valley. Through the valley. Through the valley. Of the shadow of death, I feel no evil. Help, Lord. Help, Lord. Help, Lord. Help, Holy Ghost. Help, Holy Ghost. Shikusa, Rakosa, Mandekesa, Ukesandai, Rapandekesa, Udabakasandai. Hey, Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Let go fear or let go. Let go fear or let go. Tonight. Fear or. Fear or. Your time up. Fear or. You are getting too much trouble. Fear or. Fear of, I come for what is mine. Fear of, I come in the name of the Lord. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous shout righteous. The righteous. Yes, Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy Ghost. Somebody say Holy Ghost. Somebody say Holy Ghost. Somebody say Holy Ghost. Shut up. Kosandai, Kosende, shout hallelujah, shout glory, shout deliverance, shout deliverance, shout salvation, shout freedom, 
freedom. Shout liberation. Say every injustice. Lord God that has been meted out to God's people. We break it. We shatter it. Every affliction. In the name of Jesus. Every curse. Ah. I'm coming with some car. I come in pastor Brown. I come in pastors. I come in people. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody. Somebody travel. Some. Shatter. Somebody come with me. Come. Somebody say pray free. Say every chain. Every accursed thing. Break free. In the book of St. John chapter 8, verse 1 to 11, he said there was a woman who was brought to Jesus by the Sadducees and the Pharisees because she was caught in adultery. And it was a sin. Certain punishment should have been meted out to her under the Moses law but when they brought her to Jesus Jesus stooped down and he began to write on the ground and he wrote then he looked up Then he stooped down again and he began to write as he wrote uh, somebody shout hallelujah he raised himself up and when he looked the only person standing in his midst was the woman who was accused Jesus said where is thine accusers where are thine accusers They are all gone. Jesus said, do, neither do I condemn you. But go your way and sin no more. For a worse curse shall come upon you. Somebody praise God. Jesus knew that the woman had done this. That's why he said, go your way and sin no more. Jesus knows your sin. Jesus knows what you have done but he's here to give you a chance somebody you need a chance come down here tonight somebody you have been caught and even if nobody knew what you're doing God knows what you're doing but he's here to rescue the perishing he's here to care for the dying somebody shout hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah somebody show deliverance many people condemn you many people put you down many people expect to write you off dump you park you like some big JUTC boss wreck and mash up Jesus Christ Holy Ghost somebody shout hallelujah man write you off Man put you down, but Jesus said, I am come that you might have life. I come here, come in, come and see, push and come. Come back, sliders. The world condemn you. People write you off, but there is life for a look. Shaka with me, Tiffany. Shaka Rabakosanda. Somebody shout, Hallelujah. Come, brother, come. Come sister, come. Here's a chance. Here's an opportunity. You won't leave here the way you came. Whether you're bound. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. 
Somebody say break free. Break free. Show break free. Break free. Show break free. Show break free. Break free. Break free. Break free. Break free. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 You know what happened to the Israelites? When God moved, it took many plagues. But then after a while, Pharaoh let go and said, Oh no, go on. Go, go, go. But it wasn't done at Pharaoh's free will. God had to step in. Tonight, when God step in, everything that hold you will have to give you up. Everything that bind you will have to let you loose. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I come back for you tonight. Praise team member. Jesus Christ, Bishop, help me tonight. Choir member. Rasta man. Come around here, come around here. Right, right. Come around here, Rasta man. You see, from your coming, the Holy Ghost put a holy fear upon you that as you sat in the front bench, the Holy Ghost set me at you. And every look you look at me, as I sat in the chair, the Holy Ghost says, See, are they? Somebody says salvation at the altar. Welcome, Rastaman. Welcome. The I am. The I. The I. The most I. Jehovah Jah. Jah sent for you tonight. Jehovah sent for you tonight. The I am. The imperial eye, the most high Jesus Christ, send for your turn. You are at the right place, among the right people, yes. and you can break free. Hear the words of the emperor, Healy King Silasia. Hear the words of him. In one of his quotes, he quotes from Matthew 11, verse 28. Silas say, after I sum it up, done my own research, and upon a conviction, 
from the most high God. He says, I've come to realize for my own self that what he has said is true. Is that he says, come unto me, all ye that have labored and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. See, Lassie, accept that tonight. Jesus is saying, come. If you are heavy laden, come. If you are oppressed, come. If you are confused, come. If you are between two opinions, come. Two roads before you. Pick your choice. I give you Jah. I give you Jehovah. The El Shaddai, the I am. For I said there is no I greater than the most I Jah. Jehovah. The answer is in Jesus. The answer is in Jehovah God. Trivial Church. Deliverance in Eastwood Park Road. Trivial online people. The I am God have sent me here to loose, to pull out. Worth it. Jesus, Jesus. He says, Come, Jesus. And I will give you rest. Are you called tonight? The I am Carl Moses, and the I am is calling you. What's your name? Hmm? Marcia. 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 It's a call of urgency, a call of importance. Young lady, I give you Jesus. You're too pretty for go hell. You're too pretty for hellfire. Come walk with me to heaven to dance on streets of gold. You're too pretty to burn in a devil's hell. Heaven's choir requires your attention. I give you Jesus tonight. This world and its enticements and pleasure is but for a while. But heaven's offering is better than this. Oh, what joy, what bliss. Reach that land of shining gold in that city where you never go home. The devil don't want you. All he want to wreck you, mash you up, turn you not to think. Eh? But Jesus said, come. Turn it over. Shut that that Perhaps you'll never come for this. But you just show up at church. But as you show, Jesus shows up for you. Ah. The woman showed up at the well. But Jesus was already there. Jesus said, give me some of your water. She said, I have nothing to draw with. Jesus says, seeing that you can't give me some of your water, let me give you some of my water. For my water will be like a well springing up into everlasting life. She said, give me. Prior to that, she asked, is your water better than the waters that come from Jacob? Well, Jesus said, oh, taste it and you will see. Does what the church? That's the question you may be asking tonight. What the church has to offer is it better than what is in the world? Yes. Peace, joy, satisfaction, hope, eternal life. 
I come for you tonight. I come for you tonight. I come for you tonight. And you. 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 He said, Behold! I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice, harden not your heart. The I am come to call you. He says, I'm sending you. I am come to deliver. Whatever you're going through, the I am God says, I am come to deliver you. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he sees near. He's near tonight. Call him. I give you Jesus. I give you Jesus. What an awful picture standing outside. Two roads before you. What did profit a man to gain this whole world? Lose his own soul. What did profit your sister to live 50 odd years, 60 years on earth? And then when you die, the angels of hell escort you into the bottomless pit. What did profit you to live in sin with miserable pain and discomfort and then to go to a devil's hell to be more discomfort? Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Glenn Graham say, oh, if I miss heaven, it would be better if I weren't born. What you gonna say to God when you meet him on the judgment throne? I give you Jesus. I give all of you Jesus. For he is the deliverer. Clap your hands, everybody. Hallelujah. Bow your heads. Father. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ, tonight again, this altar has a number of people who aren't saved, who haven't yet accepted you as Lord and Savior, and is following you through with water baptism and living from sin. These are they who have acknowledged and have come tonight saying, I don't know you, Lord, but I need to have a relationship with you. Let that take place even tonight. I can preach, I can encourage, I can witness, but I can't save. So, Lord, do your work right now. Savior, do your work right now. Save to the utmost. Rescue the perishing. Care for the dying. Someone is hobbling between two opinions. Someone is struggling trying to find the right road. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you'll direct them to the place, that narrow road that leads to eternal life. Touch the heart, touch the mind, touch the whole being, that somebody will be moved with conviction. Let somebody hear your voice say, I am, I am that I am. And I am come down to deliver. Deliver a soul that is near as hell. Deliver a woman, deliver a boy, deliver a girl, deliver a gentleman. Deliver a lady, deliver these ladies tonight, Lord. Oh, Mary Magdalene, Mary of Magdala was delivered. The woman at the well was delivered. Oh, Zacchaeus was delivered. The Ethiopian eunuch believed and was baptized. Many others in the scriptures have believed and they accepted and was baptized. Many here tonight have believed, have baptized and is serving and we are happy to be serving. Pray that these two will believe and begin to serve you. Save them tonight. 
Do your thing your way tonight. Work it out your way tonight. Lift every embargo, every diabolical curse, everything that comes from the pit of hell that seeks to hold them in sin. Free them. Save them, Lord. Let them understand that it is a process. It is a way. And they have to start the way. They have to start the walk. And then you will do the rest. Take over, Lord. Touch all these tonight. And save, I pray. Sicknesses and diseases. Plots and curses. Plans and assignments of hell. Levied against them. Or that is attached to them. Free them of it tonight. Whatever burden, whatever disappointing news or information that may have reached them concerning their purpose and their future. We pray God that you'll shift it. We pray God that you'll deliver tonight. Let somebody hear your voice and cry here, Lord. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Thank you for doing it tonight. Thank you for saving. Thank you for rescuing. Thank you for reclaiming. Thank you for restoring. We give you praise. We give you glory for what you've done and what you're now doing and what you'll be doing hereafter. Let the ransomed and the redeemed people of God clap your hands and say, Amen, Lord. Satoria. Nobody has moved. This is a very serious moment. I've preached. The devil didn't like it. I've called people to the altar to help in pointing them to Christ. The devil doesn't even like that even more. Now is decision time. Hell is mad. He's even upset the more. Because his plan is to hold you in sin. Keep you shackled for his worthless purposes. But tonight the Holy Ghost sent me to tell you, break free. Step out. It's your moment of deliverance. Don't let this chance and opportunity pass you. Tomorrow is promised to no man. As the blood is running warm in your vein, make that conscious decision to say, I'll take him home with me. You've heard the call. And like Moses, you're ready to say, yes, Lord. Here am I. Send me. If you're like Moses, and like many others who have answered the call, and you're ready to answer the call to salvation, to serve God raise your hand you are willing to accept Jesus Christ yes there's a hand going up is there another hand you are willing to yes there's another hand going up is there another hand tonight is your night tonight is your night step out step out Trust God and step out. I give you Jesus. I give you Jesus. Don't play around with this opportunity. Shakoria. He says he has given you one more chance. What will you do with it? Master. What will you do with it? What will you do with the chance? My friend, what will you do with Jesus? Will you accept him tonight? He's a savior. He's a healer. He's a healer. He's a deliverer. He can.
can do what no other powers can do. my chance. I give you Jesus. Will you accept him tonight? It's a tough one. But Jesus will carry you through. He'll show you the way. And the way that he will show you is a better way, a sweeter way, a more comforting way. I give you Jesus. You could have been elsewhere, but the Holy Spirit brings you here tonight. It's for a reason. Will you break free tonight? Will you break free? It's easier for her to raise your hand for Jesus than to keep it down for the devil. I give you Jesus. I'm getting ready to come out of here. But if I were you, I would have made Jesus my choice. The author, finish and deliver of all faith. Those who have raised your hands, I ask one more time. Thank you, musicians. Thank you, team. Those who have raised your hands and those who haven't yet, here's the next chance to take Jesus home with you. With you. With you. If you'll accept him as your personal savior. Raise that hand. You're willing to serve God. Raise that hand. Yes, one. Two. Anybody else? It's good to feel good in church. And to love the preacher and love the music and love the singing. But what is better is to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Is there one more tonight? Come, sister. Come, come sister. Come. Come. Is there somebody else? Is there somebody else who will cross over? Cross over. Cross over. From sin to righteousness. Crash Praise and worship member. She saved. Wonderful. You're saved too. You're saved too. You're baptized already. You're saved. You're saved too, Martha. You're saved already. What about you? Will you accept Jesus Christ tonight? Those who are saved, you can go back to your seat. Those who have not yet, I give 30 more seconds, Bishop, with these. Shh. 
I thank you all for coming before you go back. Before you go back. Oh, they're having a different thing. Before you go back, come, come right here. Hear me. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. He cares for you. You see, Bishop, it's sad to say in crusades, Reverend Brown, people want, the deli want deliverance, but they don't want the deliverer. People want healing, but they don't want the healer. Come on, somebody, help me here. Come on. Akoshatori Abahaya. Want breakthrough, but they don't want the one who gives the breakthrough. So tonight, young lady, you may be hurting. You may have your you may have had and is having your own fair share of struggles, mishaps, and so forth. But Jesus is a way maker, burden bearer. Just trust God with the process and watch how we will bring you out. Let God bring you out, no man. Because you can't fix it, you know. He said, come, let me fix you and fix it. He want to fix you and fix the situation. So he said, come. Break free and come. Yes. 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 Come home. Come home. It's supper time. Yes. Why worry about tomorrow? Why worry when things going wrong? Be strong. Keep on praying. God is a reward to them. I diligently seek you. I minister to you tonight. Woman, woman, thou art loosed. Krushataba. Ketora basandaya. Thou art loosed. Will you accept this offer of a free and full salvation? She said, yes, she will come. She's melting with tears. I ask one last time. Will you take him home with you? next time cool Jesus love you still and we invite you back Sunday morning we invite you back Sunday night and that as you go home tonight reflect on the words of the preacher and the call that I have made for you to come what will you do with Jesus Somebody shout hallelujah. Father, we thank you for all these who have said yes. Heaven rejoice over one. But tonight we have three. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for the call. 
And as you call them and you're ready to send them, pray God that they will be obedient and stay within the call. I put them in your hands, provide for them and strengthen them. In Jesus' name. Jesus love you still, we invite you back to church. Keep coming, keep coming. God can and he will. Amen. Bless your counselors, take them. So long, Eastwood Park Road. If the rapture doesn't show up, if the trumpet doesn't sound, Another time when the Lord places it in Dr. Clark's spirit to call me back, then I will come. Praise God. And if he doesn't call me back, I'll show up for your Christmas party. God bless you. Hallelujah. Come on, give God a hand, everybody. Hallelujah. Mom. You will be home sending you off now, but we want to give God the glory for what he has done. He has certainly one more time showed up tonight and used this servant to his honor and to his glory. Give the preacher a hand, please. Hallelujah. We give God the glory. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, we continue on Sunday morning. We'll be having um, Reverend Porter Cox who will be here on Sunday. Um, Reverend Porter will be preaching in the morning, and Reverend Porter Cox will be preaching in the evening. So we look forward to both of them. In both services, you'll be having them. So we look forward to seeing them. God bless you richly. Continue to pray for the crusade. Pray for the preachers. Pray for unsaved. And please invite somebody. Make it your point of duty to invite somebody. And take them to the crusade. God bless you richly. I, I want to just remind us as a church that um, February is the month. Everybody's listening? Yes, ever, um, everybody this, we ask you to join in this. This is our month when we support the Yadel Home for Girls, where we give those girls who are in an unfortunate situation a second chance at life. Whatever you give might help us young girl who is struggling and in an unfortunate situation to go to school, change her whole life and destiny by what you give. And so we're asking you, you were given envelopes, and so I think those will be collected on Sunday. Right, so please take those on Sunday morning um, and also, you are asked to take things to put in the barrel on Sunday, all right? So, you have been told the different things that you can put. So, please take those envelopes and take your gift for the Yadel Home for Girls. You have always done well, and you will continue to do well, I know. God bless you. I know that you, it's late now, and some of you are watching your figure, but um, Chicken and Festival uh, are on sale, and Manish Water 
They say manish water soup. They didn't know that you put soup and manish water. But uh, um, you understand what that is. So it's on sale. And so if you go by the um, canteen, you'll be able 